of investors have been hit with a lot of losses in this market. Among the, some of the biggest investors, those who had money in biotech company Dendrion. The stock tumbled 67% yesterday, wiping out over $3 billion in value. Today, it's seeing a bit of a rebound, but it's got a lot of lost territory to make up for. Shannon Petty, please joins us with more on which investors have taken this painful hit. Yeah, that's right, Margaret. Well, one of the biggest losers, if not the biggest, could be billionaire investor Stephen Cohen. Cohen's SAC Capital owned 8.2 million shares of Dendrion as of March 31st. Now, that's the most recent filing date. Now, assuming that that was his position as of yesterday, SEC would have had a one-day paper loss of, listen to this, $199 million. Now, as you said, Margaret, the stock's up a bit today, so it would help you know, ease those losses to just $192 uh, million. You know, that's as of this morning. Now, another big loser, George Soros, his fund, Soros Fund Management, held 4.2 7 million shares in Dendron, according to regulatory filings. That would be a paper loss of $113 million. Soros' fund actually started ramping up its investment in Dendron back in June 2010. And at that time, shares were trading around $30. Well, at the close yesterday, they were down to $11.69. This morning, they were around $12. And finally, there is the CEO of Dendron, Mitchell Gold. He owned about 230,000 shares as of July 25th. That would give him a loss of $5.6 million if he was holding at that level as of yesterday. Now, there are some chance that they could, you know, get a little bit of this money back, as we talked about the stocks up a bit today. Uh, but analysts and investors say we're not going to see it back at that $30 level. Maybe we're going to see it at $15, maybe $20, but it's going to be a long time before it gets back to that $30 level. Right now, Dendrion needs to prove it can sell its only product, this Provenge prostate cancer treatment. That treatment got a lot of hype from investors, a lot of attention from from funds like Soros is, well, now they've got to show that doctors are going to buy that. Until now, the $93,000 price tag has had doctors too worried about the price and getting reimbursed to give that to patients. That's the hurdle that they've got to overcome, Margaret.